So I recently moved to Bombay with one of my college friends. I shared it on Instagram with my followers and people got triggered. People were like, Akshat, you do not love your parents enough. You can live in your hometown and you can be productive. You can be efficient. Uh, you can make a lot of money and you literally do not have to move out of your hometown if you want to make money and you want to be productive. Well, maybe all these people are right. You know, there is a possibility that they are right. But what about the possibility that uh, these people are just broke and they are unable to move out of their hometown even if they want to? You know, I'm just saying. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to tell you why you should consider moving out when you are in your 20s. And now it's time for you to experience the new intro. Roll it. Human bandwidth refers to the total number of problems and the amount of information a human brain can process at any given moment or at any given time. Dekho, tum kitna bhi soch lo ki tumhare dimag ki bandwidth infinite hai, but that's not the reality. You have a finite bandwidth of your brain. Ab agar tum us bandwidth ko dusri irrelevant cheezo se bhar doge, then you will never be able to focus on things that matter the most to you. You will never be able to focus on your goals properly. You will never be able to focus on your goals and the tasks and the project that you want to do and the milestones you want to achieve with full focus and with full bandwidth because your bandwidth gets exhausted as you consume information and as you just put your brain in front of different activities different chaos that's happening all around in the world right and that was one of the main reason why i wanted to move out because when i was at home my joint family mein rehta hu i love my family i have always loved them and that that's the reason why i have been living with them since so many years so it's not like i always wanted to move out but when i realized that my bandwidth is just getting exhausted because of how much i actually care about them thodi si bhi koi choti si bhi koi cheez ho jati thi na unki life mein that would have filled my bandwidth with some kind of thought mai kaam karte karte unconsciously unki उस प्रॉब्लम के बारे में सोचने लग जाता था एंड आई वाज ओके हाउ कैन आई सॉल्व इट how can i do something about it and because of that my bandwidth was always if not exhausted was filled up to a limit where it was not 100% available to me to be able to use it on the task that i wanted it to you know and so that was one of the reason and if you think that you are at home and your bandwidth is completely empty and you can use it on other tasks like i don't believe in this you, you know you know you are being delusional and unless you are in the one person where you have very quiet family people are not doing anything you know your mom and dad does the job you're living alone in your home and nobody is there to disturb you moving on to the second reason why you should consider moving out when you are in your early 20s is focus so jab main apne ghar pe reh raha tha there was just not complete focus you know there was no solace like in joint indian families in joint especially marwadi families there is no term as solace you know like it doesn't exist basically right so i would have been just sitting on my desk doing my work you know recording a video and randomly cooker ki seeti bach jati you know randomly and i would get frustrated i would you know turn on off my camera i will turn it on back again and then i will start recording again and it just frustrated me you know i was unable to focus on the things that i wanted to at any given time it's almost like like i was able to focus in some time periods where there was no distraction but i didn't control those time periods you know like i would have to always be very thoughtful about when should i do the work when should i record the videos because okay these are the time periods when there will be no distraction but randomly kaam kar raha hu and my mom would be like beta dinner ban gaya hai beta chai ban gayi hai chai pe lo so that's just a small part of it you know in a joint family there is a lot of things going on on a day to day basis and i was just unable to focus on things that matter most to me i was just involved in the family topics you know the family gossip uh, sometimes my mom, my mom would come and he, she would be like you know that older cousin that i have went through some kind of disease you know and all kind of random stuff and i was just unable to focus you know that, that's my thing and that was another reason why i wanted to move out and i did and i think if that's something that's going on with you i think you should consider it as well moving on to the reason number 3 it's gratitude See, I believe when you're living with your parents, a lot of things happens that you take for granted. You know, for example, your laundry being proper in your wardrobe every time, ironed. You just pick it out and you wear it. It smells good. Or it's like you wake up in the morning, your mom, you know, prepares a chai for you. You just drink it. You feel good. You are comfortable. You know, you're getting the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You're taking it for granted. You never appreciate it when you're living with your pa- parents and with your mom. All these small things you just never appreciate it when you're at home. But when you move out, when you're living alone, you actually realize how hard it is to wake up. 
in the morning and make breakfast for yourself how hard it is to actually take care of your clothes you know wash them up and send uh, and give it to the laundry person who will iron it up and then manage the bills with the person you know all the different people uh, that you have hired to help you out in the apartment right so then you get the gratitude out of you so i believe that in order for you to feel grateful there has to be some sort of scarcity of that particular thing that you want to feel gratitude for it's like you cannot feel grateful for sun if sun is shining every day continuously for 365 days right you feel grateful for sun on the days when it shines finally after 4 5 days of gloomy weather you know when there are clouds around for a, a continuous 7 days and when the sun shines after it you feel grateful about it and it's almost the same thing like when you move out when you go away you basically make some distance between you and the people you care the most about you feel grateful about everything that they've done for you you love them more and you have that feeling and thoughts in your mind about how those people are the most important people in your life there is nothing more important than them but at the same time you have to be apart from them for a while when you are young when you have that uh, inspiration when you want to achieve your goals in order to feel that gratitude yeah that's something that i felt and i'm just sharing with you okay guys so we are almost at the end of the video agar tumhe video pasand aa rahi hai and you actually are enjoying what i'm kind of talking to you guys if you think i am being thoughtful like button smash karo and subscribe to the channel if you haven't till now a reason number 4 is accountability see i believe when you move out when you live alone you are accountable for your life you are accountable for every small aspect of your life you are accountable to get the groceries you are accountable to cook the food or get the food cooked you are accountable to fill your stomach you are accountable for your clothes you are accountable to pay the bills you are accountable of your life you are the sole decision maker when you are living alone you can decide when you want to go out you can decide when you want to work you can decide when you want to take a shower it's not possible when you are living in a joint family because people just try to force their thoughts their opinions and the way they think about life on you and i am not telling that's wrong that's absolutely perfect you know that's correct in their horizon of life in their sphere of life because that's what they have done you know so you are not accountable also if you want to make a certain decision you are always asking your dad or you are always asking to someone else who is uh, you know older than you in your family you are always pushing the hard decisions on someone else to take but when you are living alone you feel that sense of accountability and with that sense of accountability comes a little bit of fear and a little bit of control that control makes you happy that makes you feel good about yourself and with that control and with that fear it's a very good fusion of both of those things you grow as a person you actually become really mature you know because you know that you are the only one and you feel sense of power that okay you are accountable for your life and if you are accountable you can mess it up or you can make it great you have both the things in your hands so you better decide what you want to do and i think that's one of the mental unlock for me when i moved out to bombay after a long long time that i just feel accountable i feel a sense of power which is really great to feel and it also helps you grow as a person as well oh okay, yeah so the last reason why i think everybody should consider moving out in their early 20s mid 20s or just 20s is comfort zone ghar pe yaar matlab comfort hai na matlab ki bahar badal ho rahe hain to mummy ne pakodiya bana di hai chai tumhe hamesha ready mil rahi hai kapde tumhare hue hain you go out you drive the car you go on a drive you know you hang out with your friends and essentially all your basic livelihood things that is essential for your living for example the food is sorted the house is sorted the clothes are sorted you're not paying for anything you are always in a comfort zone because as humans on an evolutionary perspective if you get good food if you get a good place to live and if your stomach is full you know like and you have people around you who care about you you get comfort you know you get that feeling of comfort and because of that feeling of comfort you do not push enough you know you do not work hard so when i was at my home from last two years after pandemic i started freelancing i earned a lot of money not a lot of money but decent amount of money and living at home i realized that i was always in the comfort zone because that money is just that's a lot of money for me living in a tier 3 city of india you know where my parents are decently rich you know, not rich like they are upper middle class they have everything at their disposal i do not have to spend my money on anything you know so it always felt like i have a lot of money when in reality that's not the case as soon as i moved to bombay i was like okay i have to pay my rent i have to pay my electricity bills i have i have to pay to workers that i have hired you know i have to pay for my transportation that was not the case at home so i was always in the comfort zone and as soon as i moved to bombay i am just it's like i am motivated enough i'm inspired again that i want to push harder and i want to make my financial life even better so that's what i'm talking about when i say a comfort zone so that's another reason why i decided to move out uh, you guys like it has been a very thoughtful decision it's not like i decided to move to bombay and i moved to bombay in the next three days i was thinking about it from last six months or so uh, and i was able to finally do it which i am really really grateful for so the conclusion guys is basically like if you are able to do all these things at your home you are being delusional like it's just not possible it doesn't matter how peaceful your family is you just cannot get all these things that i just talked about at your home you know and that being said i am 
I'm not pushing that you just have to move out or you should move out and you cannot be successful if you're living at home. You cannot make money if you're living, living at home. Obviously, there are a lot of people, you know, earning millions of dollars probably, I don't know, living at home. But if you feel like you should move out and if you can afford it on your own money, you should not think about it. You know, you should absolutely give it a try. I think moving to Bombay is one of the best decisions that I have took in my career. I really enjoy it. I, I'm really grateful that I was able to move out to Bombay on my own money and I was able to, uh, you know, provide for myself and uh, give myself a decent lifestyle that I always wished for. So yeah, that's what I think. And I think you should really consider moving out if you can. That's all for this video. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you are new to the channel and watching me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you do not miss videos like this. That's all for this video, guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.